Good morning. So it is day one, Monday of week five. And let me tell you, things are getting intense. You thought they were intense before? They're intense now. So as per usual, today is a chest back shoulder day. And this week, the reps are going down, which means the weight is going up. On some of the stuff, they gave us the weight, and it is based off our one max rep. And we're getting out what we put in. And right now, it is the breaking points. You know what? You can't give up. Things are getting harder, and you got to push through. So if I'm getting out what I'm putting in right now, you best believe I'm going to be pushing myself till failure. This program is getting more intense, and I am eight weeks out from my show, so things gotta get done. Progress has to be made. There's no slacking off at this point. And like Steve has been saying recently, you are what you think, right? And I'm thinking that I'm gonna step on stage with the best body I can offer. So, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. These workouts, thinking about that, that is my goal, and I am sticking to it especially with contest prep too. Losing all that body fat, yes, your strength sometimes goes away, and I am kind of scared about that, especially with lifting so much weight this week, but I'm really gonna push through, as if I'm gonna put in my head that I'm not gonna be able to do it. I can do it, and I will do it. Also, another side bonus to this beautiful, actually it's kind of bad out, Monday. This little gadget came in the mail, so, I am looking forward to getting some nice little clips using this bad boy. All right, beautiful soldiers, let's get this day started. And seriously, after that whole pre-workout episode, never swaying from this stuff again. No, never. Good, minus getting my hand caught between some weights, so I bruised my fingertips. Yeah, my nail beds are definitely bruised, so picking up the weights, yeah, so that didn't feel too good, but you know, whatever. Powerhouse through that, up my weights on some, felt super good. You gotta be able to fail, or else you're not gonna up your weight and you're not gonna grow any muscle, so <laughs> it's as simple as that. I was willing to go the distance and now I know that I can push myself to newer limits. Also, so. they're upping the cardio, right? So my body's getting used to the cardio, but then they're upping it. So each new set of cardio that they're kind of adding on, my body's like, what? What are you doing? Why are you still going? <laughs> I love it. This program is keeping me on my toes. I'm still feeling exhausted after each workout and it's ugh. I never loved feeling so dead. Having the tripod. So much easier setting up my camera. I don't have to sit there and balance it on things. All right, just rolled up to the gym. Super excited to kill it. Day two, leg day. And we've got some of those custom reps in there. So super excited to hit all those. I'm feeling so awesome. It was a great way to wake up today to Steve's email about um, just giving it all you got and how Olympians give it everything and they're the top athletes. It's that difference between giving it your all and not giving it anything and how people who are just participants but they get rewarded for that and that gives us the idea in our head that we aspire to get to this certain fitness level and we think it's going to be easy and we'll slack and then we're going to get upset that we don't get the results we want but no. You know what? Especially because I'm doing this for a comp and it's for, you know, Steve and his program. I'm giving it my all. Like, I committed to this when I signed up and I'm going to get after it today. So, great way to wake up. Great way to get the motivation started. So, let's kill it today. And we got more of those front squats too, so hopefully I don't bruise myself. And even if I do, it doesn't matter. We're going to kill it today.
so legs went really well today. Um, I ended up going up in a lot of weights on most of my exercises for the giant set for legs. For the front squat maxes, with the required amount of reps, I did really well on. I almost found it too easy, but I feel like my form is a lot better with the front squats since the beginning of the program. So it was really nice knowing that because my form got better, that it was almost easy for me. It was a lot easier than um, the percentages and the required reps uh, that they had for the bench press. But my legs are my strong point, so it felt really good to crush that out. One of the things that really helped was this tip from Steve to really press my hips into the bench for the hamstring curls. That has improved that exercise for me so much. I feel like I'm able to lift a lot more because of it, like huge improvement. So if you aren't doing that, start. All right, so it is day three, week five. And day three, so another arm ab cardio day, always a long day. You're in the gym for quite a bit if you don't um, break up your workout, but it's a high carb day also, so you know, gotta love it. It's definitely worth it. We're also switching up the arms a bit. We're doing some zotamin curls. I had no idea they were called those. <laughs> I was like, what the heck is this? And then I watched the video and it was like, oh, I've done these before, but I had no idea that was their name. And we're doing some tricep uh, single arm extensions and we're doing some cable rotations for the abs. So switching that into the workouts now. We also got some 40 minute cardio, increasing that. <laughs> but you know it's for a good cause and this is where you know the difference between the winners and the people who don't want it as bad. So let's hit it guys. Look who I found. Soldier Nation. <laughs> Soldier Nation. We totally didn't plan this. <laughs> Steve, she's killing your game on the big program, giving me some tips. I'm learning a lot. I have to get on that. But Steve, you gotta watch for this, dude. He's he's almost gonna dress better than you are. Look at that. I met you in Slick. Vancouver, LA, Soldier Nation, Lululemon, and the Nikes are in the bag. By the way, Steve, we're probably like your biggest fans. We are. Biggest Canadian fans. All the videos, mm -hmm. all the posts. Mm -hmm. Like God. seriously, every time there's a new one, it's like, did you watch it yet? <laughs> yeah, did you watch it? All right, so day four, another um, chest, back, shoulder day. So, and it's the same setup as last week, so nothing new. But this morning, Steve was saying how it's important to wake up and, you know, tell yourself what you're thankful for. And I'm definitely thankful for the people in my life, whether it be friends or family. It's just the people you surround yourself with are so important. I'm really grateful for things like this program too and the amazing people that have done it and are doing it and that I get to talk to and interact with every day. Like it's awesome. I'm grateful for lifting, world's best therapy. You know, real talk, I am grateful for all the hardships I had in my life because without them, I wouldn't be the person I am today. So if anything, I am grateful for the struggles I've had and the things I've had to overcome because that is what makes a person strong. All right, people, so we're on day five. You know what that means, speed leg day. Nothing too new other than increasing some of the weight on the back squats, but other than that, you know, with the giant set on leg days, whew, it's gonna be killer. So just had my food scale break, so that was fun. And you know, in prep, can't really go without one, so gotta pick one of those up after my workout. Look at that! Swolder Nation! Match in! Had to catch up with her again before she leaves. Leg day today. Had to get a couple more tips from the other day. <laughs> Swolder Nation! Optimum nutrition, leg day kicked my butt. <laughs> Good morning. It is day six of week five, so arms, abs, cardio. A long day today. I'm it's really early in the morning. I'm hitting the gym before I have to move today. I still have packing to do. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna try and bust it out of the gym. And I got that 40 minute cardio I gotta go through. And then it's right back home, pack everything and move down to Vancouver. And yes, four eyes right here. I'm like really blind, I wear contacts, but seriously, I'm like, as far as arms go, the arms are the same. Compared to last week, I didn't mention this before, the rep range increased, so the weight is somewhat the same, decreasing a little depending on what exercise I'm doing. Um, 
And we're also doing, I forgot to mention this as well, um, in addition to the exercises that were added last or at the beginning of the week, so day three, um, we're also doing uh, incline um, dumbbell curls uh, with the one and a quarter reps. So that's a nice little burn. The abs are also different from day three, so they're switching that up a bit. Um, got some new exercises in there, like some V snaps. I don't really like those ones. They kind of hurt my back. I don't have the best back, so V snaps and some um, ball crunches. Um, some more weighted planks we got in there. We haven't done those in a while, and um, yeah. So no more of the cable rotations. Well, at least not until next week, but we don't know yet. But should be fun. I just love being outside earlier in the morning. It just smells fresher. Does anybody get that? It's like being at camp and waking up super early and it's like, oh, so fresh. just finished arms and it was awesome but it was super bittersweet knowing that that was my last workout at No Limits Fitness unless I come visit which I will so it is not my last workout but definitely my last workout living here and you know what it's sad it's sad leaving good people behind but yeah really excited to move on to some bigger and better things for me right now it's unfortunate I love Kamloops but it's just not it's not the place for me right now and I can't settle here because it's safe I have, to, I have to jump into new waters and try new things and it's going to be awesome and I'm really looking forward to the opportunities I have there. So yeah, don't settle in life, don't settle for someone who's not worth your time, don't settle for friends that aren't worth your time and treat you right, don't settle on your workouts, never on your workouts, get those gains. Hello, so it is day seven. It is supposed to be a rest day, but I just got into van last night and it is a team training day today. So we'll see how that goes. It's almost good that it's on a rest day because you know, I wouldn't want to be doing this while doing Steve's program. So we're gonna have some fun today. Active recovery. All right, so we trained here at Five Drive Fitness and Performance on Langley. Awesome facility over here. Good training sesh, sweating. 